All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, this video, we're going to test an untested Nikon One Touch. So this Nikon One Touch is the uh, third version. Um, I believe it's AF3 uh, is what it goes by. This is a pretty dirty one, as you can tell. So uh, if it is gonna work, it's going to uh, need a good cleaning and I'll probably do a video showing you guys how I do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is try to test it out and see if it works. If you're new to the channel, uh, what I do is I buy cameras low and then I sell them high. Usually they're untested, test them out, show you guys how I test them, give you some tips and tricks along the way. So if you're interested in something like that, side hustle where you can make $1,000 extra per month, uh, feel free to subscribe to this channel and also like this video so that other people can check out what we're doing here. So first thing we're going to do to test it out, of course, is we're going to need a battery for this bad boy. Uh, this is the CRP2 battery. So it looks basically like two kind of 123 batteries next to each other. Okay. Um, so this camera is a great camera to buy untested because most people will, when they get this, let's say someone picked this up at an estate sale or garage sale, they would not have tested it because they don't know what kind of battery. A lot of people don't take the time to uh, order and wait for this battery because you're not going to find this at a local store. So the first thing to do to, um, te to test it is to open it up and we're going to just pop open the back and slide it like so. And then we're going to slide the batteries in. This is always the most exciting part of buying and selling cameras is to especially when they're untested, um, is to see if they're going to work. So first thing, we're gonna slide it open. So far, so good, it opened up. This thing's very dusty. Here goes nothing. We're gonna press the button and see if it's gonna fire. Oh, I see a light on the inside. That's a good sign. It looks like the focus light. Oh boy. All right, so let's go ahead and see how much I got this thing for. Uh, I wanted to show you guys that I actually picked this thing up for uh, just about $12, um, which is insane. I've never seen or picked up one of these this cheap by itself in a, in a lot you can get it oftentimes. Um, but uh, again, because this thing's you know untested, um, nobody else bid on it but me. Um, I did want to show you guys the lights. Now our both lights are on because we needed to get the um, flash charge, right? This camera actually is a hands-free flash, automatically charges or automatically flashes. So let me go ahead and set it up, flash. Boom, that's working. Uh, we'll go ahead and press the button holds, turn off the flash, get focus, and that's working. All right, so let's go ahead and test the, the film. Here's the film canister that I use. As you guys know, um, because I test cameras all the time, I, this is my dummy film, I call it. Um, basically reuse this thing over and over and over and over and over. How do I get the, can the film out of the canister? If you ever run into that, well, there's a cool little tool here that I use. There's a link in the description below if you want to pick one up for yourself. It's super helpful, uh, especially when you're testing cameras. So ultimately, you line it up, stick it in, and then you twist until you get the first click. There's one. Slide it up. Second click. Line it up. Pull. And there you go. Pull the film out. Great tool. Link in description below. So let's go ahead and give this thing a uh, run through with film in it and see if uh, all the motors and everything are working properly. And boom, take a photo. Sounds good so far, it's winding up it seems. There's one, I'm gonna open it up and see if it's pulling. Pulling perfectly, timer. Make sure that's gonna work, so you just push up on that. Test the timer on this bad boy. Should be flashing. Whoa, that's a quick timer. Let's try that again. That shouldn't have been that fast. That's more like it. Try that again. Timer's on. Uh-oh. It's automatically taking the picture. That's weird. And this is why we test them. So it's taking the photo when I turn on the timer. All right, guys, so I wanted to, uh, before I let you go, I wanted to do a quick uh, jump in here and say, um, I did some research, 
pulled up the manual on this camera. I guess I've never really tested the timer or really paid attention to it until now. Um, but according to the manual, center the autofocus frame marks on the subject and slide the self timer switch up. This locks the focus and turns on the self timer indicator lamp. The shutter is released after approximately 10 seconds. So that's exactly what's happening here. So this thing is actually fully functioning. Um, I just never realized or recognized that it's going on automatically. So I wanna, whatever I'm focused on, right, if I'm aiming it at over here, it's dark. So the flash should come on, which it did. And so it's actually auto-focusing and doing everything it needs to do just by pointing at it. And then when you press up, that is how it works. So this thing is fully functioning. Easily be able to get $150 or, or somewhere in that ballpark. Let's see if the film is gonna rewind properly. Press. And the film is rewinding. Okay, let's make sure that works. And that did. If you want to follow along on my journey as I continue buying and selling cameras, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Also like this video so other people can find it. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.